What's going on? So real quick, wanted to discuss a question that I got on my Instagram. So um, a lot of people send questions on Instagram. So if you have a question, feel free to send it to me, rambeer.sangera. And the question was, do you track your fruit and your vegetables, right? And so uh, the, the short answer to this is, if you're eating something and your goal is to lose body fat, yes. Anything you put in your mouth, you eat or you drink, you're gonna track the calories. Um, that's the short answer because I think that leads to a slippery slope of, um, you just wanna tighten up everything because if if there's certain things that you're not tracking, then it's easy to forget other things and um, especially at the beginning. So that's like kind of the, the distinction that I make here is um, there are times where you're not going to need to track every fruit and vegetable, and I'm going to explain why. Um, but at the beginning, you got to learn. You got to learn what things have calories and how much calories they have. Um, and you'll never learn that skill until you track. So, and that's a skill that's going to stay with you for your, the rest of your life, right? And it's going to help you stay in shape for the rest of your life. So it's something worthwhile spending some time on. Um, we, you know, uh, it's very easy to be like, oh, I don't want to do that. But if you look at other areas of your life, you learn all kinds of things that you're interested in that don't have the same positive impact that having this skill, learning this skill would, you know, down the road. Um, and those things don't, you know, they don't get, they're not going to have the same, uh, 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 they're not going to change your life for the better in the magnitude that having this skill is, right? So let's get into it. Like, so you have two, ca I break this up into two categories. You have your green and leafy and then you got everything else. So your green and leafy is your vegetables, um, spinach, kale, uh, lettuce. That's pretty much, you know, no calories. Uh, it, like you would just, and this, and this is why I say at the beginning, track it too, just because you'll see how much spinach you actually have to eat to make a significant dent as far as calories go. Um, they're, they're not very calorie dense. Um, so, you know, uh, and later on as, and, and also depending upon like how dialed in you want to be like, yeah, you can track those things too. It's all about the, you know, the varying degrees of how tight you're getting. But in my own personal training or nutrition, I've never tracked green and leafy vegetables. One, because I don't eat a ton, which, you know, it's a, it's hard to eat a ton of green and leafy vegetables uh, in a quantity big enough to make a calorie, uh, a, a significant calorie impact, right? Um, you just have to eat so much and you're not going to eat that much. Um, but knowing how much calories those things have is going to make a big difference. Now, uh, the second category, everything else. So, you know, I'll, like... Even I'll even put like carrots in there, um, uh, broccoli, and broccoli doesn't have, and it's it's closer to this side of the spectrum as far as calories go, but um, all your fruits, right? Berries, watermelon, mangoes, pineapples, um, bananas, uh, potatoes. Oh, onion actually, onion what I would I would also put on this side and, and like peppers, like I eat like chili peppers and stuff. Like I don't even count those. So um, anything that's like sweet and got some heft to it, I mean, you know what, what those things are, like the ones that I mentioned, uh, squash, uh, zucchinis, things like that. Like you're gonna wanna track those, uh, eggplant. Um, and, and at the very least, like you're getting an understanding of how many calories those things have um, and you're learning that skill. And that's not something you wanna skimp on or that's not something you wanna skip. It's a large part of your education you're missing out on. 
And those calories add up. All this category of, of fruits and vegetables, those calories add up fast. Like one banana is, you know, depending on the size, is roughly about 120 calories, right? About anywhere from a uh, smaller banana, like 25 grams of carbs, all the way up to 40 grams or, you know, more. That's a lot of, that's a lot of calories. Um, same thing with mango, like super calorie dense. And, you know, berries are typically one that people say, you know, those like it's a great example of something that doesn't have a lot of calories, but makes you really full. But like, you know, a six ounce think of, of berries is, um, you know, it has it has a good amount of it has a significant chunk of calories enough to where you want to track it. Um, and uh, like a, a pound of strawberries is roughly. 150 calories. Um, it's you're gonna be super full if you eat a pound of strawberries, but you get my point. Like that's you want to track those calories. That's not like a negligible amount of calories. Same thing with like pineapple, right? So uh, apples, these types of things, and then most importantly, like you're gonna get an idea of how what weight you can eat. like. Everyone wants to eyeball and and intuitively eat like. You, you can't, you don't have that skill unless you weigh stuff. So weigh your food and learn, uh, put in that time and effort and then you got this forever. So that's kind of what my uh, thinking is on weighing fruits and vegetables. And that's pretty much how I do it. So like if I'm eating spinach or kale or like lettuce, I'm not gonna track it. Um, and unless I'm really dialing it in, like I'm not track, oh, and onions I'm not tracking. Um, cause you're not eating pounds of onions. Like you're just not. And like tomatoes, same thing. Like I, I, I typically won't add the, t the slice of tomato. Like if you look at my fitness pal entries, I never track the slice of tomato. I track the things that have calories, which is the bread, the burger and the, the uh, cheese, if I get the cheese. So that's that. Uh, let me know if that was helpful. Um, like the video if, if it was helpful and um, leave me a comment. And if you have other questions, uh, go to the Instagram, send them to me at rambeer.sangera.